Did you know that the clothing industry releases more greenhouse gas emissions than all flights and shipping combined? In fact, it is the second biggest polluter on the planet after oil, uses a devastating amount of water and toxic chemicals, leads to mountains of waste and is a well-documented abuser of human and animal rights. Switching to more ethical clothing is one of the overlooked things you can do which make a huge difference. Yet, eco-alternatives have a reputation for being unfashionable and expensive. However, this couldn't be more wrong, with hundreds of independent brands doing amazing work now available. Everything I'll be wearing in this video is sustainably produced, and I'm going to highlight some of the brands I'm loving at the moment, which look and feel great, are good for the environment and people, and are also reasonably priced. So if you haven't already, it's worth checking out exactly why switching to more sustainable clothing is so important by checking out my other video, which goes into detail about the terrible impact of the fashion industry on the environment and how you can make a difference. I explain why certain textiles are surprisingly bad, the damage they have caused and go into detail about alternative materials that many of the sustainable brands in this video use. You can click up here on YouTube and I'll also leave a link down below in the description. I have released this video alongside that one to give you specific examples of brands leading the way in doing the right thing and help you kickstart a more ethical wardrobe. None of these are sponsored and everything featured I've bought myself and proudly use. I'm simply a huge fan of what these brands are doing and genuinely want more people to share in that. Bear in mind, whilst I am approaching this as a male, all these brands are either non-gender specific or offer equally extensive female fit ranges which are just as good. I'm going to start with a couple of places to get nice tops and sweaters, and first on my list is a very small independent brand that only started last year. My friend Lauren actually introduced me to One Choice, and I very quickly fell in love with their environmental and peace-focused designs. They make a selection of t-shirts, jumpers and hoodies, like this one, and this one, and these two. In fact, I don't think there are any designs on their site I don't love, and I've had the same response whilst out and about wearing them too, with several positive comments from strangers, so it's not just me that approves. All of their items are carbon neutrally produced using Fairwear Foundation certified organic cotton, which is incredibly soft. Conventional cotton is one of the most damaging crops in the world, so choosing an alternative is really important. You can find out more about this in my other video, but basically organic cotton doesn't use harmful chemicals to grow, meaning it isn't polluting people and the wider environment. One choice costs a very reasonable 12 to 18 pounds for their tees and 42 to 45 pounds for their jumpers and hoodies. But if you give them a follow on Instagram, they're always posting generous sales and discounts, so make sure to look out for those. The next brand, Illustrate, also use the same carbon neutral organic cotton clothing to showcase their incredible designs, all drawn by a collective of different artists. This specific design apparently took over 40 hours to complete. They hand print these locally in Bristol using environmentally friendly inks and aim to make their supply chain completely plastic free by 2020. The shirts are around £25 and the jumpers and hoodies from £35 to £45. However, they don't stop at clothing. They also sell a number of sustainably produced accessories featuring their unique designs, including hats and beanies, recycled paper products like notebooks, and their new range of toxic-free scented candles made with soy wax, recycled glass, and a bamboo lid. I'm a particular fan of their sustainably sourced wooden phone cases, which plant a tree for every 10 sold. Best of all, if you upgrade your phone or break the case, you can send it back to them for recycling and get 50% off a new one. This next brand has less variety of designs as they are all variations on the brand's name. And this is with good reason, because every single item sold gives a child in need 100 days of clean water and 100 nutritious meals. As well as the usual tees and sweaters, they also do joggers, with most products made from organic cotton or recycled fibres. This shirt in particular is 100% recycled, made from organic cotton cutoffs and post-consumer polyester. 
Starting up a brand with such a positive goal takes time, and after messaging them they've informed me that they plan on making all their mailing bags biodegradable in the near future, as well as introducing more recycled garments like this one. Their clothes cost a variety of prices, this one was about 25 quid, and they're also very generous with their discount codes including 20% off your first order. Considering you are getting an ethically produced piece of clothing and simultaneously making a donation to help children in need, I think this is a cracking price. Now let's move on to a different area of clothing and probably one of the most harmful, jeans. I'm actually only going to discuss one brand that produces these as I can't imagine wearing anything else after owning monkey jeans. Seriously, these are ridiculously comfortable and a great fit before we even get onto their environmental credentials. Their mantra is no slave labour, no child labour, no blood, no sweat, no tears, and they mean it. Monkey Jeans use a number of certified standards and factory visits to ensure all their materials are organic and all their workers are fairly treated and paid. Their range has a huge variety of different fits depending on your style and also different leg lengths, which is a must if you are lanky like me. I don't particularly wear chinos myself, but do have several pairs of their chino shorts, and these are unbelievably soft. Seriously, these are so nice to wear in the summer. However, probably my favourite range is their new Eco Wash line. As the name suggests, they claim these use up to 80% less water during the washing process of production, and it is priced lower than any of their other jeans at £50. Their other ranges move up in price to around £75 and they also sell a small selection of tops and hoodies. However, they have some of the best sales I have seen, with sometimes up to 70% off, so make sure you follow them on social media as they usually promote some form of big discount you can use. Moving further down, let's discuss shoes. These are from a company called Pozu. They use a number of innovative materials to make their footwear and have earned a number of sustainable certifications, a full list of which can be found on their website. These ones in particular are from their vegan range and are made from all natural linen, rubber, latex and cork. I'm a big fan of the removable memory foam foot mattress which feels like you're walking on pillows. They're super comfy and I could stay in them all day long. If you're a Star Wars fan, then they also have a large range of officially licensed Star Wars themed footwear, from the more discreet to these magnificent vegan Wookiee boots. Pozu can get pricey, with shoes approaching or even topping £100. However, they are another brand that have frequent sales reaching as much as 70% off. I think these ones were originally £95, but a combination of sales and extra discount codes brought them down to £39. If you can't find anything in your price range or style you like, then Athletic is another great option. In fact, probably one of the best for footwear you can find. They pretty much cover most styles of sneaker, including some very similar to more well-known, less ethical brands. There are a massive amount of colours, patterns and fits at a range of reasonable prices to choose from, so it shouldn't be too hard to find something for you. Athletic has great credentials, with products made solely from resources in certified fair trade supply chains. They claim that in 2010 they were the first sneaker on the market to be made from cotton that was 100% certified fair trade organic, as well as being a pioneer of FSC certified natural rubber. Athletic also goes above and beyond for their supply chain, paying an additional 15% of the purchase price to a workers' welfare association in the production facilities, to give workers a choice over how to improve their lives and community. Next let's look at accessories. Corker offers an animal and toxic free alternative to leather, which is just as durable as well as looking and feeling great. As you may have guessed from the name, they use cork to create wallets, bags, belts and loads of other accessories. This wallet Kath got me for Christmas, costing around £40, has a coin pocket and RFID blocking to keep your cards safe. Because it is a natural material, every single one is different and I absolutely love how unique this looks. However, if you don't want such a natural look, they have a range of styles, including darker colours that are much more similar to traditional leather. All the cork is sustainably sourced and FSC certified. 
As mentioned in my other video, cork is harvested from bark without chopping down and killing the tree, so it's a highly renewable material. Other measures cork could take include using non-toxic inks, a water reutilization system, 100% recyclable packaging, and making all their products by hand in small batches to minimize waste. They also give 1% of every purchase to a charity of your choosing during checkout. Finally, let's take a look at Rapa Nui, who to me are a model example for a larger sustainable clothes company. They started off in a shed on the Island of Wight in 2009 and now use advanced technology and strict standards to have a complete environmentally and social conscious supply chain. Their online store offers many of the things we've seen already like t-shirts and jumpers, as well as flannel shirts, underwear, socks, surf towels and even customizable items. This is one of their simple zip up hoodies and I also love this top's particular design supporting the Marine Conservation Society. All their clothes are made from sustainable materials, mostly organic cotton, but also some bamboo, including these lovely bamboo socks. I go into detail about bamboo in my other video, but it's one of the most sustainable materials to grow in the world and is renowned for how soft it is. These feel amazing on my feet. However, it's not just the materials they source that make Rapa Nui so innovative. Their blank garments are all produced in one renewably powered factory where the spinning, dye, weaving, cut and sew are all integrated under one roof to maintain strict social and sustainable criteria. This factory also uses a closed loop recirculation system for dyeing their clothes so the same water is recycled continuously. These garments are then shipped by sea rather than air to their renewably powered factory on the Isle of Wight. Here they develop software to take orders in real time as the customer orders it, printing it and sending it out by post the same day, meaning they only make what is ordered so there is no waste. Finally, these orders are sent out in 100% recyclable packaging and mailing bags. After all this, once your clothing has reached the end of its usable life, you can free post it back to Rapa Nui for recycling in return for store credit, creating a circular economy. If that is too much info to take in right now, most of their clothes come with a label you can scan and it will show you that garment's entire journey all the way from the specific farm the material was sourced from. What's more, they have opened up this entire process for other brands and individuals to use for free under the name T-Mill. This makes it super simple for companies, charities, artists, bands, or even YouTubers to upload their designs and set a price, whilst T-Mill take care of all the printing and posting using Rapa Nui's automated system. In fact, this shirt supporting Ecosia was made through T-Mill. The fact they have developed and continue to improve such a thorough, efficient system doesn't just mean Rapa Nui is highly sustainable, but also very cost effective. I think their clothes are fantastically priced and easily beat out most of the big brand names in the fashion industry, particularly if you order one of their bundles. So speaking of price, let's finish by discussing whether these brands are in fact reasonably priced as I stated at the beginning of the video. Now, I personally think they are fantastic value considering everything they do, but obviously I realise it all depends on your own circumstances and how you compare them to traditional brands. Taking jeans for example, I know some people who wouldn't spend less than £100 on a pair and others who won't spend over 30 Monkey jeans sits nicely in between and after wearing them I couldn't go back to any other jeans so I think they are well worth the price tag considering the life I expect to get out of them. Likewise, you can easily find most big name brands pumping out shirts and jumpers at similar cost to any of the independents in this video, yet they keep vast portions of that price tag for themselves instead of investing it back into becoming more sustainable. However, I am aware there is also the £5 bargains from the likes of Primark, H&M and online retailers. What you always have to bear in mind when you pick up those items is the cost other than financial. That Primark t-shirt might be cheap on your bank account, but what's the cost on the environment and people making them? I now like to think of sustainable fashion not just as buying clothes, but also as a simultaneous donation to the environment and those in need. Like giving to charity, but you also get to proudly wear your commitment too. 
The other more practical thing is that cheap clothes simply don't last as long, will end up in the waste and therefore cost you more in the long run to replace. I know personally both Kath and I have bought clothes in the past that have torn after just one use. These more sustainable brands take the time to think carefully about all their materials and practices involved in the manufacturing process. And as a result, their clothes are naturally better quality. This means they last longer and often cost the same as multiple cheap alternatives. It's a classic case of quality over quantity. Okay, it's starting to get dark now, so I'll conclude by saying this video was a bit weird for me as I'm not particularly known for my fashion sense. Um, also, I didn't think about the fact that I would need to keep swapping my lapel mic onto new clothes. However, I hope it was full of useful ideas to help your fashion become more ethical. Whether you choose to shop with any of the brands featured or you find something else, the main thing to remember is to buy less, make clothes last as long as you can, and then recycle or donate any you no longer need to stop it going to landfill. If you have any questions or your own suggestions, obviously drop them down below in the comments. Also, let me know if you want to hear about more brands like this in future videos. Thanks a lot for watching.